Jacksonville was spared the brunt of Adelia, but the storm did leave its mark on parts of the city. News for Jack's reporter Jim Piggott was out again today along with the Sky 4 drone to check out damage and see what's being done to repair it. Wow, what a difference a day makes. I'm here at Memorial Park. High tide now, high tide yesterday was obviously much worse because the waves were crashing over the railing here, destroying this, something the city put together and installed and paid nearly a half a million dollars for just a short time ago. Now they have to decide what's next. This is what it was like at Memorial Park when I was there at the height of the storm yesterday. Look at this up here. The railing that was just replaced, it is down as the winds were coming through here. Right now, the city says it's assessing the damage and will decide what is going to happen, how it will be rebuilt, the cost, and how quickly it can be done. Some are asking how the original structure, built about 100 years ago, called a balustrade, could last that long, while the new structure couldn't even last through what was like a nor'easter-type winds and waves. Wayne Campbell lives next to the park. He watched as it came down, piece by piece. Do you think they should rebuild this or try something different? I think they should rebuild it, but something different would be something new. Right. So, but I mean, I know it's history, but... Uh, yeah. yeah. But if it's going to keep doing that... I would try something new. I mean, the storms are just getting worse anyway. We also caught up with others cleaning up from the storm. Bill Long lives along the river. He says the storm was bad, but others have been much worse. Yeah, it's, it's, it's part of living on the water. And, you know, things have changed some, but with global warming and all of that, I'm not sure what the, what the reason is, but there's definitely some some concerns if you're going to live on the water, but we love it here. The problems not only occurred along the St. John's, over in Fort Caroline, we caught up with Dan Jones as he was on the phone with his insurance company. A neighbor's tree hit his roof, but fortunately didn't cause a lot of damage. On the south side, on Beachwood Boulevard, the owner of this car wasn't so lucky. Throughout Jacksonville, we found people cleaning up after the storm, like here in San Marco, where this man was doing some tree trimming at his house. Storm debris has been piling up along our roads, and city crews will be picking it up on yard waste days. You know, a short time ago, I got a text from the mayor's office saying, again, the Parks Department was out here at Memorial Park here in Riverside, still assessing what is going on here and exactly what they're going to do. They just don't know at this point, but they're looking into it. For now, we're live in Riverside. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station. Jim, thank you.